Hi, and welcome to the Thursday, November 4th webcast. I'm Katie Love. Athletic Director Chris Del Conte is blogging. The blog is called Notes on a Scoreboard and can be found on gofrogs.com. Del Conte writes about the nation's eyes being on the university's football team as they head to Salt Lake City to face Utah. Fans have suggested a whiteout for the game to combat Utah, Utah's blackout. ISP Sports and Railhead Smokehouse is making this possible by providing a thousand shirts at the game. The skiff reports that some students aren't sure what to do when a weather alert is announced. Bill Bunting, who works at the National Weather Service in Fort Worth and Dallas, says he tries to make sure people are aware of the meanings of the weather statements and that if a warning is issued in the area, you should really stop and take immediate action. I talked to students on campus to see if they knew what to do if an alert is issued. If the weather changed for the worse, I don't think I would know. I kind of get confused with like amber alerts and tornado warnings and all the sirens sound the same to me. Restaurants around campus are planning special watch parties for Frog fans this weekend. The game against Utah can be watched in 1873, sponsored by the Hyper Frogs, the Aardvark, Old Rips, the Poorhouse, and Buffalo Brothers. Buffalo Brothers is even offering $3 horny shots. Though senior Melissa Crutchfield says she isn't sure students will go to those watch parties. Yeah, we're having something over at my house. We'll probably have a bunch of people just watching the game, hanging out. And um, I haven't heard of too many people going to local hotspots, but I'm pretty sure that people just kind of hang out at homes and, and do all that. So. The Student Government Association is having a debate for upcoming elections. The debate is at 5 p.m. in front of Market Square. One of the candidates has a few words about the upcoming election. Um, I'm running for student body vice president. Um, voting's November 9th. Where everyone's uh, running, we have people running for treasurer, people running for vice president, and people running for president. So everyone, get out and vote. Thank a teacher today. The Teaching Excellence program is encouraging students to let their professors know they are appreciated. The Thank a Teacher program started in 2006. The center has already received over 150 responses as of Wednesday. Students can fill out a thank you note online and the note will be sent to an instructor's email. The forms can be found at elearning.tcu.edu slash thankateacher.asp. That's your top news for today. I'm Katie Love. Have a happy Thursday.